Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. Um, just before we start this part guys, I just want to say to you, I'm not going to use the face cam anymore for this game because I feel like it's not necessary, it's kind of a distraction in the corner screen because although it's meant to be a horror game, it's not that scary. My face most of the time I've noticed when I've been editing that it's just quite blank and I'm not really, it's not necessary. So I'm going to focus on the commentary and just playing the game for the rest of this game. I will use the face cam in the future. For other games, maybe like Silent Hill and like really horror, you know, jump scare games. But for the moment, I'm going to focus on um, commentary. Because I was getting a little bit distracted by the face cam as well. You know, glancing over, worrying about if my face is looking in the right position and all that bollocks, you know. So, let's carry on. Um, in this part, what we're going to be doing is... Remember the piano in the last part that we found and we tried to play it? It was... We couldn't play it because... We were missing the second piece of the musical um, sonata. So, in this part, we're going to go get the second piece, combine the two pieces, and um, try and play the piano. I mean, you might think, in a zombie apocalypse, why would you want to play the piano? But, <laughs> it does reveal something. So, the door should be just around this corner, where we got to go through. I think it's this door. Leading to where the next musical piece is. And then we need to make our way back to where the piano is. Oh, zombie. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I thought I killed the zombie. Um, okay. Yeah, definitely. I remember standing in this corner killing the zombie. Alright, it seems to have come back for some reason. I don't really understand that. Um, that, oh god, I thought he was dead as well. Oh no, this isn't good. He seems pretty fast as well, this zombie. What the hell? Yeah, he's definitely moved up, like, increased in speed. He's not dead. I think he's dead now. Are the, yeah, are the, did these zombies come back to life once you kill them and they're more powerful? Seems like zombies that I've killed, they're coming back with big claws and um, moving faster. So, if you remember this room in the last part, it was all dark and we couldn't actually search in the room because it was too dark. So, we brought the lighter with us. Oh god, no zombie. Well, th yeah, these guys are faster. It's kind of hard to aim at this guy in this room. It's because of the table and the camera angles. Um, I'm trying to get some breathing space. How am I not hitting him? Is that not, like, aiming right at him? I don't know why I'm, how I'm missing. Is he glitched? See, like, Jill auto-aims towards him, and she's missing. This is kind of bullshit. Now, that, that time I hit him, but he also hit me. Oh, he's on my back. This isn't good. How fast did he get up? What? This is very buggy. For like a remastered game, shooting him right then, I was well, I was definitely a target. But it just wasn't having it. Look at that! That's... Right, now I'm hitting him. Oh, I've stopped. I seem to stop hitting him now. Right, is he dead? Is he dead? Jesus Christ. He's not even dead. Run, Jill, run! Still missed. This is very, um... Clunky. Jesus. I, I can't get a chance to take a shot. Because he's on my ass. See, that thing... Is he dead? Is he dead? Come on, be dead. If I aim away... It seems like he might be dead. Yeah, he's bleeding on the floor, so he's dead. Oh my god. Alright, so we brought the candle in this room, and this candle, I mean the lighter, and this candles. So if we use the lighter on the candles. Alright, we're in danger there as well on the health, so we're going to use these mixed herbs to take ourselves to full health. And then uh, we have lit the room up, that's good. So, can we check, like, cabinets and stuff now? Here we go. Will you take the shotgun shells? Um, y Yes. I need to keep an eye out on those um, inventory slots. 
So if we check out this place as well, yeah, okay. Musical score, this is what we came for. So if we can com combine this cut score now with that one. Now we have a sheet, sheet music, so we do have a full piece now we can play on the piano. Um, anywhere else to search around here? We moved this shelf up the way of that, that hole in the wall. That's how we unveiled it. And that zombie was behind it, wasn't he? So, um, maybe I should stop killing zombies, because it seems like the ones that you kill do come back. So that is a bit of a pain. And they, they don't just come back, they come back twice as hard. And with this control scheme, it makes it even harder. So, oh, that zombie's disappeared now. This isn't good. <laughs> so we're going to have to head back now. We need to go across the hall, um, through the dining room, and down the corridor. That is where the piano is. The Pia Pia Piano. So that zombie that we killed in here is dead as well. Richard's still dead. Richard might come back at some point, I don't know. Alright, so... If we leave... I think this leads to the hall. I'm not 100% sure. Just hope it does. Yes, it does. That's good. So now we need to go downstairs, head into the dining room. Might be worthwhile taking the shotgun out when we encounter those um, zombies with the claws that move faster, because killing them with the pistols takes quite a few shots. If you're lucky, you can take like a one-shot headshot, but that's quite our, quite a lot of RNG right there. So hopefully we go through this door. And we should now be close to the piano. Is this guy still alive? Yeah, this guy's still alive. Okay, so because they've been coming back, I'm going to think I'm going to leave this guy to live. Just so I can um, not have to worry about him coming back twice as hard. Okay, so here he is. Let's run around in circles. Oh, he got us. That's not good. Okay, all that effort to try and maneuver around him and he still got us. So the piano room should be right here. Here we go. Here's the piano. So if we open up the inventory now and try the piano. Try using the music sheet. Okay. Jill is playing the piano. I mean, it kind of doesn't make sense why Jen, Jill, is playing the piano and like, you know, she's trying to find her friends. It's like, oh, gotta get this music sheet from this room across the mansion where there's loads of zombies in between. Bring it back and play the piano. But hey, it worked. Look at that, there's a new door opened. I mean, it makes sense for the game to like, send you back and forward for the, the you know, the engagement in the game. But <laughs> when, you look, when you think about it in reality, it doesn't make any sense <laughs> why you would do that. So we've just found Trevor's diary in here. Um... So 11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a plate of food and said, sorry to put you through this, but it's for, for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. So there is something going on in the mansion. It's not just like these people are being attacked. It's kind of like originated from the mansion. So, but for what purpose, it doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they are all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. So, this diary is going to go on for quite a while. Yeah, here we go. So, let's leave the rest of that. We've kind of learned something new there, though, that the mansion is causing these zombies to go all crazy. So, we just picked up a gold emblem. Okay, the door's closed. Now... We did. I did bring along the other emblem, the old one, that we found on top of the fireplace in the dining room. So let's use this here and kind of replace it. Here we go. So it's opened up again. So we got a new emblem, a green, a gold one. Now if we take this back to the dining room. How many slots have we got? We've got two slots. Um, I'm gonna, I was going to pick up that ink ribbon, but I think I'll leave it for now. So we're going to head back to the dining room. 
and put this gold emblem in the place of where the old one used to be and see if anything happens. Maybe the mansion will unveil another puzzle. I'm just going to shoot this zombie because he's getting in the way and I can't get past him here really without killing him. Or maybe just drop him. Maybe that's a better choice. You know, drop zombies, don't kill them, because when you kill them, they come back. So that guy's still alive right there. Now if we come here, let's put the gold emblem in this slot. Okay, the clock has opened up. Let's check out this clock. Okay, when the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. When they have run each other through, it looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it. Yes. Turn which gear? Let's start off with a small one. Which direction? Um, right. Okay. That's left. Isn't that left? Um, turn it again. Small again. So we've got helmet, shield, armor, and sword. Okay, I turned it the wrong way there. I turned it back to where it was. I've gone that way again. <laughs> So it says when they run each other through. So if I put them opposite ends. Keep turning. I mean, this is going to tell me when I've done something right. So I don't have to come out of it. Okay, nothing happens. Maybe it's got something to do with the helmet, shield, armor, and sword decorations. So let's turn um, the large one. Let's bring the large one down to the bottom. If I put the, the small one now back to the top. Let's see if that works. Okay, the kind of thunder and lightning went off then. I don't think that's got anything to do with the clock though. So let's come out of it. Oh, that worked. So the clock is striking at six o'clock, I think. Hang on, something's opened. There we go, we've got a new key. New mansion key, so this is either going to be the shield key or helmet. I think that were the two of the keys that we didn't have. We had the sword and armor. So now we can unlock new doors. Um, then we, There was a door in the hall that we hadn't gone through. I want to check that out. can't remember which one this was. I know we definitely haven't been in this one, so it's locked. Emblem of a helmet, so we must have the shield key. The helmet one doesn't work. Um, okay, so if we look at the, um, the map, we can kind of see... I think they're the door, the blue ones of what... I'm not sure if the ones there are blue ones that we can unlock or that have been, we've been actually through. So we're going to head towards some of these red doors. Let's go down to the ground floor first and check out the red doors. See which ones, which see which route is best taking. So if we stand down here, open up the map. Okay, so there's quite a few doors. The more to the right. Um, yeah. So if we go all the way around there, there's two doors on the ground floor near the typewriter box at the back on the right. Let's, let's head towards that direction. I think we've got to go through this door first. Oh, don't push that. Okay.
Okay, there's something rattling. We are... Okay, so we need to go to the end of this corridor. And then the next corridor that we go into will be doors that we haven't been through. Okay, windows are smashing. Zombies are coming in for the windows. Okay. Let's just get to the end of that. How many zombies came through then? I think two windows smashed and there was two of them come through one of the windows. So maybe there's like three or four zombies in there. There's a dead zombie on the ground. If you look at his hands, his hands aren't claws. So hopefully he won't come back as a super zombie. So that door there we've been through. Now this door. Okay. Um, It's locked. There's a zombie coming towards me now as well. What about this door? I know, which, which way? We've been behind us. What about this door then? Okay, we, we got unlocked the door. So there's no further use for this key. This guard. So this must have been a armor key door. Because surely it's not the new key that we've just got. It doesn't open just one door. I don't think it would do that. So this is new. And um, what's the noise? That doesn't sound like a zombie. Do zombies make... Oh, it's a crow. They're crows. Of course. Are the, crow... the crow's deadly. Will they come for me? I don't even know. Okay, so we haven't been here before. Can we check out these walls? A picture of a sage wearing a necklace. It's set in red stained glass. There's a switch here. Press it. Ooh, key dokey. Ah, the picture of the sage has turned purple. Oh my god, what does this even mean? Is there any, like... I don't have anything that would tell me really which which order of these... What colour these should be, do I? Picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. Set in yellow stained glasses. A switch here, press it. Yes, so that goes green. If I press it again, will it go back to yellow? Yeah. Does this have a light on it? Lisa, protected by three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Switch to the bottom picture, press it. Yes. Crows are attacking me. Um, why? Why? Can I shoot crows? Um, let's just run away, actually, because they're going to kill me. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing in there. Maybe I'll find something later on that will give me a, a clue of what to do there. But there are zombies now in here. I think they're right in front of me. Oh, yeah, he's dropped. Okay. Um, Where's the map? There we go. So there's a door at the end of this corridor that was locked. Maybe we could try that. Oh, no, this is outside, isn't it? Okay, so I'm not too sure... What's outside here? I can't remember. I think we fought a dog out. Oh no. Have we been out here before? There's a dog behind us. Did we kill it? That was a pretty good performance there. If we killed it, yeah we did. Normally they're pretty difficult to kill. Okay, so there's something written in the indentation. The defiler of the accursed coffin. We got an emblem. We don't have it on us, but it's in the chest. And I think it's the same shape as that. So hopefully, if we bring that here, maybe we can open up this door or something. I don't know. The zombie is back up on his feet. I'm just listening for him to fall. There we go. So he's still alive. Um, let's just leave him. Let's head back. Oh god, the zombies were in here, weren't they? Maybe I should go back in there and go for the other door. Because I don't really want to take on all the zombies that jump through the window. <laughs> there he is. So if we go through this door, I think this door is close to the save room where the chest is. I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Now, though, I think there was a door at the end of this corridor that we hadn't gone through. Maybe we can now unlock it with the new key. 
this door. Oh no, I think, oh shit, we have been through this door. Maybe there's a door beyond this door, I can't remember. I'm sure there's a door somewhere up here that we haven't been through. Yeah, this door maybe. It's locked, okay, and then another helmet. So we've, we haven't got the helmet key. Alright guys, I just went um, back to the chest and got the wind crest, like an emblem. And I think it's the same shape as the hole in the wall outside. So we're going to try and put this inside the hole and see if it works. It was just through this door and through the corridor. So it's not that far away. Okay, the doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Um, just because it's right beyond this door that we need to go. I'm going to, go, I'm going to say yes. So maybe that doorknob has only got a limited amount of uses in it before we can't go through that door anymore. Just seeing as we just want to get on the other side. Um, here's the zombie guy again. Let's go behind him. Yay! It's okay. We're outside. Hopefully, there's no more dogs out here. It seems you can get past zombies if you go around like towards their back because they have to spin around to grab you, and they're quite slow at doing that. But those fast ones, God, they're fast. <laughs> so hopefully, this—I don't know if it is the right shape actually. Let's look at it. No, it's not. Maybe if we put it in a twisted angle. No, it's not necessary. Okay. Alright guys, that's all we've got time for for this part. Um, we've got a new key, we'll try out more doors in the next part with that new key. And um, hopefully we won't encounter too many of those zombies that can move so fast with the long nails. Because they are pretty dangerous. So thanks for watching guys, and see you next time. Bye!